guys, welcome to PurseBeds.com. Today I'm going to talk about flat irons. So I get a lot of questions about flat irons and what's a good flat iron and things like that. So I'm going to show you two flat irons. One is a name brand flat iron. It's the Fee Heat. And this is the one with the red inside. And this one right works really well. But I'm going to show you another one that's exactly like it on the inside, the innards of it. The only difference is it's a different company called H2 Pro. And this one's a lot cheaper. So I'm going to show you two different curling irons on my funky hair. So I did it like where I had a bun and then I kind of like fluffed it up so it's all kind of nappy and gross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flat iron both sides. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with your flat iron that you can do. You can curl it, you can flip your hair, you can do your bangs and all kinds of different stuff so that you can get an idea. Maybe you're looking for a holiday gift or something like that and you just kind of want a better idea of what a flat iron can do for you. So the first thing is when you're looking for a flat iron, I recommend getting one that is at least the size of hair, one inch. Unless you know exactly what size you need, I recommend a one inch because that gives you the ability to do your bangs and the ability to curl and to straighten at the same time. What you do when you look for a flat iron is something that's rounded off at the ends so that you can curl it. So you can see this one right here is for curling as well. You can see how it's rounded off as well as this one. If you get one that has like the sharp edge, then you can't curl with it because it's going to give you that kink. There's a lot of new flat irons out there like this kind that's smooth on the plates so that you can curl. I'm just going to show you that real quick. There's lots of different ways. So you could hold it like this, take the curl and flip it and drag it downward. Like I like curling irons because it's easier for me, but you can get the really cute curl just like that. So this is the cheaper one. This is the H2 Pro and I'll show you with this one too. So you want a flat iron that will curl your hair. So it's the same crazy curls. And you want to make sure that your flat iron turns on and off. There's lots of different flat irons that don't. And there's one that I used to really like, the Chi Nano, but it didn't turn off. And so I have to unplug it and that was a pain. So I was a minus. But these two right here turn off. So make sure you get one that turns off. Make sure when you get a flat iron that you get one that has different temperature settings because if you don't and it's like an automatic one, then you just have to rely on the flat iron and sometimes it may think your hair's it's hot enough for your hair but it really isn't. So I think ones with the temperature setting is good. One, this one goes up to 450 and that's like the hottest I've seen. So I would say ones that go up to 450 or ones that, I mean, 375 is what I usually have it on. So I would look for something that's higher than that. And you just pull it down and you slowly do that and then it curls and then you just take your finger real quick and you just fix it just like that so that's a good curling iron one that slides and one that doesn't tug your hair so this hair is kind of like nappy and gross so what I like to do before I flat iron my hair is I like to use a product like a, an oil treatment so I use this one right here this is the enjoy oil treatment. There's all kinds. There's the Moroccan oil and there's NARS one too, but that's just, it's really fancy and really expensive. So just put a little bit in your hand. I like to do my ends first. Concentrate on that. And then just kind of run it upward. You can also use like serums, things like that, but you want to put something in your hair to protect it. And a good flat iron is going to keep the curl just like that. So no matter what I do, it's going to keep that curl. I'm going to fix this one right here. So another thing that you could do with your curling iron, if your hair is really, really curly, the best thing to do is to take your hair. Let me just take a decent amount here. It's all frizzy fried. All right, so what you do is you're going to take your comb and you're going to run it through. Make sure that it's nice and smooth and there's no tangles because sometimes if there's tangles it kind of frizzes up. So what you want to do is you're going to flat iron that piece. And I like to take long flat pieces of hair. You're going to take it and you're going to flat iron it. And the slower you go, the better because then it's straight. A good flat iron, you'll only have to go over it once. If you have to go over it over and over again, then it's not a good flat iron because you're taking all that heat and you're like doing it three or four times and that's just burning your hair. I had to like explain this to my mom the other day because she bought this like cheap one and she's like, it works. 
And so I'd explain, well, your hair's burnt because you're going over and over it so many times. So look for a flat iron that does that. The next thing is like these little, this is like my favorite thing to do with a flat iron, is you can take your hair, little wispy pieces like this, and what you do is you pull it, and then you kind of, as you're going outward, you kind of just drag it out. And it gives you this really pretty wispy look. So if your hair is like razor cut or anything like that, you can kind of see how it just kind of gives you this little like flared out look. And if you do that throughout your hair, it's really cute. It's kind of like an edgy rocker kind of style. Again, you want one that's rounded off like that. So you can do that. If not, you're going to get the... Another style that I just recently demonstrated is the curl style where you go like this. So you heat it up, and then you drop it, and clamp, don't burn yourself. And this is why you're, it's good to have like a one inch flat iron, because then you're able to get all of your hair and then you get this nice little, it looks really pretty like a romantic wave, and if you have it all over, it's, it's very soft, and it's just something that looks really cute, like if you do like your hair like this, and you just have a whole bunch of them. Another thing that you can do with a flat iron is create a poof. So what you do, again, you're going to want to get a flat iron that's rounded off. What you're going to do, so you're going to take it and you're going to clip it and round it up like that. And you're going to take your next level and you're going to get like flat pieces like that. And you're going to flip it again. I used to do this with a curling iron, but if I have a flat iron and I'm going for straight big hair, then I just use the flat iron. And then you're going to go in and lightly tease it because you've already done that. You don't really have to. Crazy hair, but you get the idea. Another thing you could do with your flat iron is you can create those flips that come out. So if you have layer hair like me, I like to go all the way up, and then I will bring it towards me like this, and you can see it curls, and so you'll just take it back, and it kind of flips your hair out. So it's really good, like if you were going traveling, the best product to bring would be a flat iron, because your flat iron can flatten and straighten your hair and curl it so you can do all different looks. Versus like a curling iron where you can really only just curl it or do like a little bit of a wave or like a flip. But a flat iron can do it all. See how it doesn't like snag my hair as I do this? And then it gives you this cute little thing that comes outward. So there's lots and lots of different things that you can do with a flat iron. So if you're wondering what type of like holiday product or something like that, I recommend getting a flat, a one inch flat iron that's rounded off like this, that has a setting where you can turn it on and off. So now I'm going to straighten my hair, show you what I can do, is you can take it and just kind of curl it towards your face, and you can see how straight that gets. And I only did it once. So when you're looking for a flat iron, again, you know, you want to look for the curved edges, you want to see one that can curl and flip and twist and do all of that stuff, so you can do your bangs. What's important to me when I look for a flat iron is something I can hold on to, like on the top. It can hold on to this. It has a good feel to it. Rounded edges. It's smooth and it doesn't like get my hair when I do stuff like this. Hopefully I've showed you guys some interesting tips on how to curl your hair, how to flip your hair and do all that stuff. And if you have any requests or anything, send me a video request and I will do my best to do it. Thanks again for joining me at Perspets.com. Bye.